Greetings, everyone. My name is Brother Robbins. I'm excited to be here with all of you in GS105 Studying Life Skills. Um, I've always wanted a chance to be able to teach this course. Uh, I work in as a full-time faculty in our academic support department. Uh, my main responsibility is actually teaching college success class. Uh, but I've always had an interest in this one. So this is my first semester ever teaching this. And I'm excited to be with all of you. Um, I've got to apologize. I I didn't realize that um, when, when I set up the meeting, I don't actually really know what happened with Zoom. I was actually in Zoom with some one-on-ones I was having with some students right up till 3.30 and kept waiting for, for people to show up. I even talked to some colleagues and said, hey, do you, students usually show up for these Zoom meetings? And they said, well, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. So I kind of just thought no one's coming. There's no one in the waiting room. And inadvertently, uh, did not realize that several of you were actually waiting for some, you know, for this meeting to start. And I don't, I don't know why there's a disconnect because I only have one Zoom channel. So I, I don't know what I did, but it was probably me making the mistake. So I apologize to all of you. But here's the reality. Um, I have, um, I've never taught an online course doing Zoom uh, before until the pa pandemic. And I actually liked Zoom. I didn't have a problem with it. But when I was finishing my doctoral degree, um, I, I did my doctoral degree online because I didn't want to leave um, my full-time employment to, to become a full-time doctoral student. You know, I had four, uh, I had three kids um, when I started my doctoral degree and just didn't want to be that impoverished. And then had three more kids uh, in the three years it took me to actually finish uh, my doctoral degree. So we were expecting when I first started and, and then added two more. Anyway, um, <clears throat> So um, long story short, uh, when my instructors would have Zoom like classes, it was always really challenging for me because they were on their East Coast and I was like in work or teaching class or, or having meetings. So it was never really convenient. But two, I kind of, I kind of, they kind of violated, I thought was, was like a, this unspoken kind of agreement that online would allow for this flexibility. And so I don't want to violate that for all of you. So I think instead, I'm gonna post just a series of very short videos. I'll upload them to YouTube. I will replace the Zoom links that we have. And in that way, you can get the content that we would talk about, but also still have this flexibility of not having to um, you know, take time out of your day you know, to, to go live. That being said, I'm always happy to meet with students. So I will post my student office hours. If you wanna talk, you wanna meet during those hours, I'm totally happy to do that. Uh, I didn't, this is not any attempt to like avoid like interactions with you because I enjoy speaking with students. I love, I love working with students and trying to help them be successful. So that's why I'm excited to be in this class as well as, as what I do for um, like my full-time job on campus. Um, a couple of quick hitters then, let's get down to the nuts and bolts. Um, I've been asked to talk about academic study plans, ASPs. You'll be introduced to those uh, during all the even weeks, like week two, four, six, eight, 10, and 12. Uh, so you'll be introduced to seven of these. And what these are, they range from study skills like reading, right? If applying effective reading skills. That will be your first one next week. And you're, you're um, asked to read over that module, look at the learning materials that they have within that module, and then create a seven day study plan whereby you will apply what you've learned from that module into like your regular classes. Uh, there's a certain caveat with that. My wife took this class last semester and it was the only class she took. So she couldn't actually make a real application. Speaking of my wife was calling right now. Um, she couldn't make real application of that in her other classes because she only had one. If that's your case, let me, if that's the case with you, let me know in an email and we'll just come up with some sort of alternative for you be, uh, to be able to um, effectively apply those ASPs, those academic study plans, okay? Number two, I was asked to show you how to download Proctorio. And I could actually take you through the, um, the tutorial, I'll share my screen right here, that um, BYU Idaho IT has created. Um, but instead, I think I'll just sh share the link with you um, so that you can do it on your own. I'll put it, post it in an announcement. But one thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to actually download Chrome onto your, your computer if you don't have it. Uh, because Proctorio, uh, from what I gather, seems to work most effectively with Chrome. Um, 
And then if you've got some challenges, BYU-Idaho IT has put together a really nice set of clear instructions for how to use Proctorio. And if you have problems with it, you can find those all within that link, okay? Finally, uh, just for this week, um, you've got a couple of things. The icebreaker activity, I've been reading over um, early and responding to some of your posts in there. And it's really cool to see some of the pictures that you posted. Uh, Max just got married this week, so that was really exciting. He's in Hawaii. So, uh, you know, kudos to you, Max, for being on the ball, uh, even on your honeymoon. And um, so you've got that icebreaker activity, really simple, just answer some questions, and it'll give me a chance to get to know all of you. And then you've got um, what's called a scavenger hunt that just teaches you how to navigate the course and be effective in terms of this particular course. Just know that you'll be asked to upload um, uh, like a, a headshot um, into Canvas. This is helpful for me when I'm grading your paper because I can see your picture and it helps me kind of put faces to names, but it's also helpful for all of your other professors, whether you're on campus or online. Uh, it's just another way for us to continue to like remember who you are and associate your work with you personally by looking at your picture. You'll also be asked to enable the notifications for feedback. Maybe some of you have already done that, and if so, that's great. Uh, if not, it'll take you through how to do that process. All right, everyone, that's it for this week. Thanks so much for uh, watching this, and um, you'll have kind of an assignment that's due with this video, uh, but um, uh, that's it. So I'll post more videos throughout the course of the semester and look for those links in the instead of having a Zoom meeting link, okay? All right, everyone, thanks so much. And uh, don't be strangers, reach out to me if you've got questions. I'm so happy to help you and just happy to be with you this semester. Thank you so much.